Okay, in this video, we're just having a look at an issue with Yoast metadata not saving on posts and pages in WordPress, and that's using the Yoast plugin. And we're just using the basic version of Yoast. We're not using Yoast Premium or anything like that. But I'll quickly come in and I'll, I'll show you the problem here. So if I jump into a page, just the privacy page, for example, uh, if I just write another bit of text onto the end of the meta description for example yours might be in a slightly different place depending on your page layouts and things like that but it should be more or less the same um, and then you can see when it updates there's just kind of nothing there it just looks as it was before so um, nothing's happened there so what we do is we can come in and there's actually a plugin. So long as you've got um, admin rights, you can come into this plugin section, add new plugin. And what we're going to look for is the Yoast test helper. And you can see it's come up under the under that. Oh, sorry, that's not a word. If you just type in Yoast test, it should be the first one that comes up. Just make sure it's this one by Team Yoast. So it's an official plugin hit install it just takes a second or so to install because it's a fairly small uh, kind of like diagnostics plugin and then we can activate that um, sometimes I have a bit of an issue where <laughs> yeah it's happening now it, it this won't appear in here and then sometimes you can refresh it and it will um, once it's installed though you should be able to go to tools and then you can see we've got this Yoast test uh, part here so once you've got that, you can go into it. So this isn't actually under Yoast, it's under the WordPress tools um, menu and then Yoast test. And you can see we've got all of these bits here. So what we need to do in this instance is we reset the uh, indexables table and migration. So you can click on that and then that will just reload the page. And we reset the prominent words calculator, which is that one, and then that will just refresh the page again um, and then we'll reset the internal link counter and then that should have reset all of those and then once all that's done what you want to do is clear your cache out so on this um, I'm using Cloudflare so I've just put it into uh, development mode and once you know once your caches are cleared and everything then you can go back to your page so that was our well any page really you know this this is happening for everything and then we could put the word say see more on the end of that update the page give it a refresh and then with any luck you can see now after refreshing it's actually there and i can show you in the uh in the meta you can see it's it's there as well so it's actually being saved into the page now whereas before it was just reloading the page and just nothing was actually being pushed to the database so clearing all of those things in the in the Yoast helper has helped to um, resolve all of those issues and then once you've finished with it um, you can actually just remove that plugin and um, just sort of everything should should work as as normal so yeah hopefully you found that helpful if you have give the video a like if you want to see more content like this then uh, please subscribe